hag and I'll probably be nominated first just for peace and quiet. No way do I want to be out of here first. That would be my most worst nightmare in the world and I would be devastated. If I'm out first because of that, then I think that's really unfair because I don't feel like I've been given a fair chance. Two fifty eight PM Chantel Preston and Tracy are in the spa. Is this part of your thing? Oh, I lost off my dress. Oh my god, I'm oh my my bangles. Well, I am now. Jordi and Dennis right. are in the bedroom. So if we have sex and you, you give me a blowjob, you're gonna take a polo up picture? If you want me to. Oh you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See look at you. Huh? Well, I'll be right, right here or right here. What are you talking about? On the scale. Well, I don't know. I don't know how good you are. <sighs> I'm so terrible. I'm awful. That's all the girls I used to have sex with. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right. I'm pretty good. Are you? All the pretty girls and all the beautiful girls I've had sex with. They'll tell you. Only reason why I'm not with these girls is because <laughs> I've never been faithful. Never been faithful? No. No, once, once. Once, in, back in 1994. <laughs> you remember the year? Oh, yeah, because that's the only girl that's ever lived with me. Only one. Only one for six, seven months. That's it. I've even never, my, my I've never been unfaithful. See, you know, even my, all my wives I've had, I was married to, they never lived with me. We live in separate houses. Now Gee. that you've told me that you've never been faithful, I wouldn't go out with you because I would think you would just be unfaithful to me and then that would be wasting my time. I've never been unfaithful, so I'm the total reverse to you, the total opposite. The possibility of having sex is not, not you know, excluded, is it? Huh? Having sex is well, not excluded. Well, we could have sex, I just wouldn't want to go out with you. That's fucking great, right? <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Four fourteen p.m. Maggot, Dennis, Pete, and Michael are in the seating area. Geordie, Chantel, and Tracy are in the living room. I was saying that I'm surprised you haven't had sex with anyone in this house. Well, you're surprised Dennis hasn't. I'm. I, I, I'm assuming I, he didn't. Well, it wasn't with me. It wasn't with me either. No. I know, but I figured it, it, he would at least try. No, he's he, he's been a bit like yeah, flirty definitely, with me, but yeah. not. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing. No I said to him, he said to me earlier, like messing around, he said, Would you sleep with me? And I said, Yeah, I'd probably sleep with you, but I wouldn't go out with you. And But I wouldn't even sleep with him, to be honest. He's, he did say to me earlier, he goes, You're trying to have him sex. Well, um, cause just because I know Dennis and I know that I'm shocked that it hasn't happened. Yeah, but he's got to have someone to yeah, have, but he's got to have make someone, it happen yeah, with. Make it happen exactly. With, neither of us are going to do Well, because he believes that he can get any woman he wants. No, he I can't. wouldn't sleep with him. He definitely but, can't because he couldn't. But with his no. track record, it seems to be true. At least yeah, in, his, in the States. Oh, I'll tell you that then. now for nothing. No. It's not going to happen with me, that's for damn sure. No way. No way, no way <laughs> Jose. If I could check anyone in here, like, just for a laugh, it'd be Preston anyway, not him. Why Preston? Just because I think he's cute. He's more my type. I always mm -hmm. go for young boys. Mm -hmm. And he's just... <laughs> 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 I'm Hello, here one. <laughs> I'm here <laughs> one. No, I always just, I just like young boys, like him, like my last boyfriend was, you know, my last serious boyfriend was 19. 19, really? Mm. Wow. That's not me, so Preston of all of them, he's just... Preston's the one I would go for, like if I could, but he's got a bird anyway, so I'm not gonna, no. I'm gonna go there. No way, because then you feel over like the papers you're a cheating bitch. Preston, how does it feel to be less famous than Chantel? Oh, wow! <laughs> 9.42pm. Big Brother has gathered the housemates in the garden for a task. Big Brother has asked the housemates to line up in order of fame, with the most famous person standing on the number one podium and the least famous on the number 11 podium. Earlier today, Big Brother told Chantel that this task is a final part of her secret mission to convince the other housemates that she's a famous pop star. 
If Chantelle can avoid being ranked 11th by her fellow housemates, she will have successfully completed her task. This is Big Brother. Housemates must now place themselves in order of fame. Okay, well, Michael Barrymore is number one. No, Dennis and Tracy. Dennis and Tracy are number one and two, without oh fail. God. That's absolute rubbish. No. No. They're American that's, and they're That's no. absolute no, rubbish. No, no, no. This is a British, no, no, no. British, no, no. This is a British television not. show. It's simply not fame. true. Is no, no. This is... This is... It just doesn't matter. Just get on a podium. Barrymore is number one. Barrymore, take the stage. Come on. Go on, Barrymore is number one. Dennis is number two. Dennis is number two, I would say. You're the top five for sure. Peter Trace is number three. Pete, Pete. No, you're the top five. We're going to have to start getting on it because the time's ticking over. Can you just get on it? I'm your last. I'm... I'm lower class, I know my friend. No, we haven't, because it's more than a band. Barry, I'd say you're... I don't know. What? Near the back. I'd say you're more like... What are we? Jodie. Eleven. Jodie. Fame, fatal fame. Wet out here. We haven't won. If we don't get it right this time, we'll As Chantelle has been ranked the ninth most famous housemate, she has passed her secret mission. Nine forty six PM. Big Brother has called Chantelle to the diary room. The rest of the housemates are in the living room where they can see Chantelle on the plasma screen. As you know, you entered the celebrity Big Brother house as a non celebrity. Yeah. A nobody. Yeah. There is no such band as Candy Cross. I fucking said, didn't I? Yeah. I've been saying it since day well, one. Since entering the house, you have been on a secret mission to earn celebrity status mm -hmm. and the right to stay in the celebrity Big Brother house. Yeah. Tonight, you convinced the rest of the house that you are more famous than Preston and Maggot. I, I told you. Therefore, you have passed your secret mission and are now a genuine celebrity. Wicked. You can stay. Brilliant. That's great. That's fantastic. I've passed my mission. Oh, do you think you will be accepted by your fellow celebrity housemates? Yes. yes. They're watching this right now and I really hope they're not. Oh, babe. Because I've had so much private stuff. If they are watching this now, then I hope they understand how much pressure I've had. Oh, oh man. Oh. And also, um, like you said, I, I was a nobody. Does that mean we're up for nomination? Um, all the people, I've, oh, well. I've got a feeling they're watching. I and mean, I hope they think back to the time when maybe they was a nobody. And if I, they had the chance that I've had, I hope they'd oh, find so it in themselves to think that the they've oh, done exactly that the same thing. Right. Please enjoy the rest of your stay and the celebrity inauguration party that Big Brother has organised on your behalf. Yeah! <laughs> Chantal, you are now free to leave the diary room. I really say that. <laughs> <laughs> was a twist in the tail, no. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait! Yeah. 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 You absolutely... Oh! Oh! Fucking knobhead. Oh, you fucking knobhead. You're fucking knobhead. Oh, you fucking knobhead. You're 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 fucking knobhead. you I'm so sorry. 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 i Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, she's accepted you for what you are. Go and get the demo. Go and get the demo. I know. Thank you. Hi, my son. Oh, yeah. Just enjoy it. The fame and fortune. I sound all right. I can't even sing. I can't sing. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried? No. Is it your song? Is it her song? Is it her song? Yeah. I can't. Do. I'm so sorry. Oh shit! <laughs> 10 14 pm.
It's been 28 minutes since Chantelle's secret mission was revealed to the other housemates. No, you, no thanks. Thank you, Maggie, right, for being number 11. That's all right. Thank you so much. I'm normally, no, I'm normably number eight. What number are you, Chantelle?